Hi everybody, it's Steph here and what we're actually going to do today is we're showing you this uh, beautiful, well another Parker, Parker 51 pen. As you can see it comes in this old box which is unfortunately a bit tatty but it helps to protect the pen. Um, but what we have here ladies and gentlemen is an absolutely stunning Parker 51 Vacuumatic um, in this absolutely beautiful quite sought after colour this is actually the cedar blue okay now this particular pen when when it came to me it came in a quite a sorry state um, I've actually fully dismantled it cleaned it internally um, we've given it a full service and restoration actually just before we show you the pen um, what I'll do I'll just show you uh, the pen in bits Okay, so um, here's the pen before we we actually assembled it, and what you can actually see here is we've got the lustre alloy cap here. Um, just above that, we've got the brass retaining screw. We've got the uh, the clip here. Just underneath the clip, we've got the grey uh, the grey jewel for the top of the cap. Um, here we have the feeder with a breather tube. Um, to the left of it here. We've got the hood or the shell. Just below that, we've got the barrel, and uh, obviously that's been nicely cleaned. Um, we've got the blind cap to the bottom here. Here's the vacuumatic pump. Uh, we've taken the old diaphragm off, and we've given it a lovely clean, and it's come up uh, very nice. Um, there's the new diaphragm that we've uh, we've ins well we've installed onto the pen. We've got the gold. 14 karat Canadian nib and last but not least we've got the collector here and as you can see um, the connector again everything's been nice and cleaned um, well it's like new lovely and clean okay so that's the pen before we assembled it and I just thought I'd show you all the different parts so um, just for now let's go back to showing you the pen Okay, so as you can see, it's been fully dismantled, um, and again now it's actually been put back together, in, in, and it's in absolutely beautiful condition. This particular one, I date in the region of 1947, 1948, and the reason I date it like so is that um, in the in around about 1947, Parker um, actually discontinued. Um, put in the blue diamond on the clip. Now if we can actually show you the clip to the top there and what you'll notice to the top there it has the blue diamond but with no blue enamel. Um, as I say in 1947 the, the, they actually discontinued it because of a ruling from the Federal Trade Commission um, against Parker's lifetime warranties. Okay so as I say they discontinued that in theory, this particular cap is not actually the correct cap for a pen of 1947-1948 era, although there's absolutely nothing unusual about it because um, in, at that particular period, Parker would have had um, lots of spare caps in stock and maybe some people actually requested this particular cap or they simply just placed them or if you like generally just used up the the stock that they had available so although it's not correct it's actually there's nothing unusual about it as you see to the top there um, we've got this beautiful clear grey jewel um, another thing you may notice on this particular pen if we turn it round um, there's no Parker name on it or anything like that um, again it wasn't until after this particular period that Parker began um, putting the name on the uh, on the caps. Incidentally, this is a lovely um, what they term as a luster alloy cap. Again, in absolutely superb condition. If I take the cap off, just another way of actually dating the pens. If you look inside, I don't, you can't actually, can't actually see it on this particular pen. Um, but the the clutch inside on this particular one is the one with the five different compartments, which again, in, in a little way, allows you to to sort of date the pen um, but the, the, the other way of dating it just below the clutch ring here normally it has made in USA made in England made in Canada whatever now on this particular pen unfortunately it's actually well it's worn away although 
the date letter is still quite visible and on this particular pen the date letter actually reads T7 with the three dots which indicates to me that this particular pen um, was made um, 1947 and in the first quarter of 1947. Um, what the T stands for I believe um, it actually indicates that this pen was actually made in Canada. Now unfortunately because I can't read the imprint and it doesn't actually tell me that but the T7 indicates that the pen was actually um, made in Canada um, and what it also, well, what confirms that as well is that the nib inside on this particular pen, the imprint on the nib reads Parker, made in Canada, 14 carat, 1948. So the T7 indicates it's made in Canada and it actually, it may confirm it with the nib, um, which also tells us that it's actually made in Canada. Okay, so... At that point you can actually decide for yourselves whether it was a USA made pen with bits from Canada. Um, but I'm just trying to give you an indication of what it actually tells us on the pen. Now as you're already aware people, I've shown you 51s before, um, how we actually work this particular pen is we unscrew the blind cap and to the end of the pen you can see the plastic, uh, the plastic plunger filler okay which well nice and simply tells us that it's a vacuumatic and for you people that always shout at me for not writing with the pens um, what we'll actually do we'll bring on our writing pad now this is the first time the pen's actually been filled with ink since it's been restored so what we do is we keep our fingers crossed and what you do is dip the pen the nib into the ink and just press the the plunger down a couple of times and wait a few seconds between each press so okay so what we'll do we'll give it a couple of seconds um, I'm not going to do it a couple of times just just the ones as long as we just get a little bit of ink into the pen so we can uh, we can write if you just bear with me while I put the top back on the uh, on the ink and what we'll do is replace the the blind cap and let's do a writing sample. So what we have here is a Parker uh, 51 Vacuumatic and as I say it's in this beautiful cedar blue which is quite a sought after colour and as I say, um, what, what I actually do, I've done that actually a little bit wrong, um, I date this pen from 1947 to 1948. Um, and again the reasons being is what I've already mentioned on the video, um, which gives me the indication of, of the dates. Now this particular pen writes lovely and smooth, as most Parker 51s do. And... Yeah, I would say it writes with a lovely, a lovely fine line. Okay, so there's the writing sample. As you can see, it's a lovely fine line. Very nice writer. Very, very smooth. Okay, so what we'll do at this point, let's put the cap back on. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. An absolutely stunning example. It's in excellent condition now as I say I've fully restored the pen and I've fully cleaned it it's had a brand new diaphragm fitted to the inside it's got the gold filled uh, diamond diamond clip to the top there and in absolutely superb condition again with this luster alloy luster alloy cap an absolutely stunning pen ladies and gentlemen that incidentally could be looking for a new home so keep watching for it but for now ladies and gentlemen all I'll simply say is I'll just say bye for now bye now